Hello there, my audience. This is the Fable Chronicler, and I'm about to start playing the demo of Harvest Hunt. Now, this is a roguelike survival horror, which sounds rather interesting. So let's get started. 32 people escaped the plague by hiding in Luna Nova only to be haunted by a curse and its vicious monster, the Devourer. A warden is chosen to keep the village of Luna Nova safe, collecting life-giving ambrosia from the fields and banishing the Devourer. It is your turn to protect the village. Don the warden's mask that you might see the Devourer. Use your strength and wits alike to protect your community. Well, you're all dead then. Ah, okay, so... Yeah, it literally just gives you a random character to play as. Okay. That's cool. Wonder what does that... Oh, hang on. Welcome to your village, Luna Nova. Luna Nova is the heart of your journey. You'll be returning here after every encounter with the monster, the Devourer. Harvest Seasons. One villager is chosen to be the warden each harvest season, protecting and providing for the others. Knights, you must survive five key nights in order to complete each harvest season. Oh my god, it's five nights of Freddy's all over again. I hope this devourer thing doesn't look like a bunny. Each knight grants th different rewards such as new abilities, lore, or resources. Some of these rewards will always be received while others have requirements before being awarded. To survive, you must collect enough Ambrosia, a key resource for Luna Nova. This is level one, so... There we go, bug down. <coughs> I was pressing the damn button and it wouldn't fucking accept. Ooh, I love the art style of this. This looks awesome! Collecting Ambrosia keeps Luna Nova alive. You need a specific amount of Ambrosia per harvest season in order to succeed. Ambrosia is scattered around the farmlands, collected before the devourer can contaminate it. Oh shit, okay, so that's Crouch. Oh, I got a hold X. Oh no. And that sounds gross as well. Oh, this looks cool. 11. Okay, I get a feeling that the other knights are not going to be this easy. Because holy shit, I'm already at 21. Like, god damn. There's a lot of Ambrosia here. Visit the entry points at the end of the farmlands to escape with your resources. These points are marked by white smoke during your first night. Okay. <coughs> oh, god. He keeps registering it as a f mouse. Keep singing, I'm using keyboard. The mouse, because that's still plugged in. Make as much noise as possible. See if we can't draw this devourer's attention. Hello, Mr. Devourer. Person Devourer. I don't know what you identify as. Uh... Hello. Oh, it didn't turn up. There we go. Gained. 45 Ambrosia. Oh, I need 150 Ambrosia at the end of it all. Okay. New card unlocked. Vigor Elixir. Used to slowly restore vigor over the course of three minutes. So does that restore my health or my stamina? Listen to whispers. Ah, yeah. This is the, like, sort of roguelike element of the game. Where you just get random ass modifiers. Random whispers will affect each night differently. Remember to look through them very carefully. Blessing positively affects Luna Nova or your warden. Calamity negatively affects Luna Nova or your warden. Monster mutation. The Devourer's current mutation, unlike the other whispers, this does not change every night, but this is tied to the harvest season. Shit. Failure to banish the Devourer this night will lead to the loss of 80 Ambrosia. Oh, fuck. At least he only does half damage, but it also leaves a trail of toxic gas, which damages me. He's doing it again. Or do I just... Oh, okay, there we go. Never mind. I am stupid. Ah, shit, should have read that. Ah, bollocks. Okay, so no tools required. Uh, what's this? You must spend Vigor to acquire tools... You'll start... Oh! Yeah, oh no, I have to pay health? 
I have to pay health. Yeah, just grab everything because it's horrible. We're not going to get into the habit of that. Let's start the hunt. All right, let's go. Oh, so I've got to go to the landmark to get the tools. Ah, oh, bollocks. A weak pitchfork is always available in the farmlands, even if you did not acquire any other tools. That's a trap, obviously. But is it for me or for it? That's the devourer? What the fuck? Where'd he go? Ooh, that made me jump then. I hear him. Oh shit. Oh fuck's sakes. Run! Oh. What the f Shit! Let me go, 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 no 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 Oh no it's not at all to defend myself. Oh fuck sakes Turn it off I can't turn on my lantern now I'm dead Oh fuck sakes I wasn't able to do much because the thing kept bugging out and thinking that I wasn't using a controller. Hang on, then fine, we'll use a keyboard. Granted, this is just a demo, so it is going to be a bit buggy. So hopefully, by the time the game actually releases, I won't have that issue. Okay. Okay, so. I think these are traps for me. I can hear them. We've got to get rid of him. We've got to get rid of him, but otherwise, that modifier is just gonna f fuck us. All our hard work will have been in vain because the modifier will just get rid of it unless we banish him tonight. So, we're gonna have to hunt him while he's hunting us. Oh shit! I can't see it. Where is it? How do I access my mask? That's how I access my mask. God, this is hard. I'm not used to not being able to fight back like I normally do. See, I reckon those bells are used to lure him. Or it. Alright, so windmill. Aha! Uh -huh. We throw this at him. There he is. Shit. Where'd the axe go? We heard him. Ah. Is that how we get him? You know, when I first found this on the Steam store, I wasn't... Ow. I wasn't expecting this. I'd read the description, I knew it was roguelike going in. But... 
I hadn't... I, I expected at least being able to put up some degree of an actual, like, full-on fight. Not this. Not me skulking around playing cat and mouse with it. On the effigy. This effigy is flanked by tall lanterns. Is that it? And that's it. So is this how I banish him? He did not like me hitting him with the axe, did he? And god damn, dude, there's salty and then there's this. I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to keep the lantern up, but I think it's a lot safer for me if I don't have it up. Come on, come on, come on. Where? What did he do? I thought I thought this was the effigy. That's a slaughter pit down there. Ah, yeah, it, it is the effigy. It's just covered up by those fog things. How to interact with it? Ah. Okay. Did we get him? Oh, okay. So I've got to run and grab. I'll take it if I don't grab it in time, it'll reform. Hey, we did it. Hey, okay then. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Hey, move faster than usual while crouching. Card selection. Warden strengths and village fortifications are chosen randomly from all the unlocked cards in your deck. You can decide not to acquire any cards. Choose wisely since you can only hold a limited number of strength and fortifications at a time. See if they're going... Ooh. Say this. While acquiring tools, choose a starting vocation on the map. Now I'll go with atonement. Just as a just in case. Uh. Yeah, we've got the pilgrim badge. Increased chances of... A water fiend lurking in the water. Lurking waters. Shit. Okay, then. So, give me the axe. Yeah, okay. Tutorial's over. I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to have to be very careful now because I'm at 30. Vigor. All right, let's get going. Play your way. Banish the devourer or escape through the entry points. Unlock and choose tools, strengths, and fortifications that work best with your playstyle. Collect enough ambrosia and survive the harvest season. Okay. I hear him already. See, I think like the one blessing when dealing with this thing is the fact he's like covered in glowing blotches. I'll be able to... Oh, that's water. We're going to want to avoid that as much as possible. Ah, yeah, there's the water fiend. I want to know what the story is here. Like, what's the source of this curse? What caused this curse? Why do we have this curse? What's so wrong with this land that we've got shit like... Ah! Shit. This is like when I played Monstrum as a kid all over again. Oh, shit. Shit. That hurts. Oh, I thought I'd be able to sneak around and jab him in the ass. Yeah, I'm just going to stay exclusively within the cornfields. Ah, there's my axe. Means to track your location. Oh, it's got minions. And there he is. Hello, Jeffrey. Ah, you fuck. Son of a bitch. Alright, we hit him. Now I need to grab that. I need to wait for him to leave as well. Is he gone? Ah, 
Schock. Was that him then that I just brushed against? I know, he's still got a gas trial. Thank God. Ah, there he is. There's a bell over there that I can use. Ah, fuck! Oh, shit! Where'd he come from? Get off! So I feel, I'm so I feel. I can hear it. This is terrifying. I should just take my shit and leave. I've got enough. Oh, he's taking Ambrosia from me as all a bastard. Fuck is he? Shit. Alright. Interact with it. Alright, so, we got a thing. Why is he gonna let me grab it? Yeah, I need to know where he's gone. Oh, I need to get another bit of him. Shit. I wish my mask would allow me to see him as well, at the very least. Around, like, corners and shit. Maybe there's a modifier for that, I don't know. Ooh. I thought I saw him then. See, the thing with the pitchfork is, I've got to get right up to him. I want to use it on him. Ah, there's another tomahawk. They're not referred to as tomahawks in this, yeah? Fuck off! Fuck off! Go away! Did that hurt him? 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 Did that do enough? No, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did. Uh -huh. We've got you now, you son of a bitch. Oh, fucking hell, he moves quickly. He's not the most perceptive of people, is he? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 faster. Got ya. Where's his mask? There it is. Yeah. Go back to hell with you. Woo! We got him. Alright. Throw the damage to the devourer, but cause it to chase you for 15 seconds. Unlock the tools of law entry in the compendium. Survive the night to equip player village fortification. So I have the night to unlock a new strength fortificational tool. <sighs> right. Ah, oh, temporary lose hearing when detected by a fiend. And the pitchfork gets stronger. Yay! That's five. That's 35. <sighs> Yellow tree. Alright then. We're gonna have to go to the tree. This is fun. Normally, I, I really struggle with roguelikes. Like, the only ones I've ever managed to actually make any real progress with is Cult of the Lamb and RoboQuest. But no, I'm actually doing pretty alright. Right, there's a tree. So my flasks are going to be there. Yes, 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 I know. Yeah, can't turn my lantern on either. Shit! That's him! We run! Come on! Load up! Load up! Oh shit! Oh god, that hurts! Get out of my face! Right, that's full. Oh, so that's the amount of Ambrosia there is in the map. 
And I'll take that little thing is... Yeah, that's going to steadily decrease. Oi! Fuck it! I move faster. <laughs> See? What sort of fucking game? Again, this is a demo, so yeah, actually, I'm going to have to be a bit more... Uh... Maybe not as harsh, but what sort of game makes it so the dashing from your crouch is faster than your sprint? Like, holy shit. Ah, I gotta kill him or hurt him three times now. Find us keepers, Frederick. He's nearby. I think. Is he nearby? Get in there. Alright. There he is. Where is he? Where is he? I've lost sight of him. There he is. How the, I was about to say, how the hell do you lose the size of the sight of something that big? I'm stupid. There's a way to get him to come to me instead. Oh! Shit, he moves fast! Oh, fucking thing! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, fuck sakes. Oh, that's a... Is that a way for me to take those things down, I wonder? Can I not ring this? Stepped into his poison mist, didn't I? No. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh, well, I should have just grabbed the Ambrosia and ran. Oh, bastard. Okay. Yeah, because once the warden dies, you're going to be done for. Okay. I get it. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty fun. Okay, I like this. This might actually end up being a shorter video. Uh... Right, okay then. Yeah, a bit of a shorter video today. This... This was actually pretty fun. I, I I screwed myself over at that last hurdle there, though, in all honesty. Oh, I was doing so well. I should have focused on just getting the Ambrosia and running off. Because I didn't have the modifier where if I didn't banish it, if, uh, I would have lost AD Ambrosia. So, mm, that's on me. But, <laughs> yeah, I actually can't wait for this to come out now. This is actually pretty fun. I hope that when it is like fully released, it'll be a bit more polished. But from what I've played so far, it's pretty good. So, anyone watching this, I actually recommend going to the Steam Store page for Harvest Hunt and downloading the demo and giving it a try for yourself. Uh, <laughs> and with that being said, uh, this is where I'm going to wrap up today's recording. Uh, next week, I will be recording 
secrets of Grindira. The cat's trying to get out. Oi! I'm busy. You little monster. Hmm? Yes, hello there. Very professional fable. <laughs> yeah, next week, uh, Secrets of Grindia is going to be uploaded, or I'll be recording Secrets of Grindia. Then suck up. And then we'll also be doing, or oh yeah, we'll also be covering this alien, the uh, demo of this alien abduction game. And yeah, just so you all know. But yeah, right, this. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to keep up to date with the channel. Share with your friends, because all this helps the algorithm and helps pe more people find this channel. And with that being said, this is the Fable Chronicler out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>